this time we're at Amu. Today I'm going to be watching a video. My horrible wife cheated on me with 13 men. It's a Stephen D video. This is almost six minutes. And I'm just going to start off with some kind of ad or some kind of paid promotion type thing. But um, based on the title, this girl's a hoe. And she was your wife too. 13 guys? Jesus Christ. Like, what? Like, is, is, is he not pleasing you? Like, just break up with a guy. Like, I don't. Like, this is the thing I don't get about cheating. Like, why even cheat? Just break up with a person. If you're married, I get it. It's like a more of a long process, but like, just get divorced. Even if it's not fully finalized yet, at least you filed for the divorce, so it's not like you're actually cheating behind her back. Like, you know? Stupid. Let's go. Today's, Today's video, video is brought to you by Raycon. So I've been wanting my own pair of wireless earbuds for a while now so I can use them for when I'm working out, animating, or binge watching movies from my bed. And I gotta say, the quality of these Raycon earbuds are definitely worth it. So go to buyraycon.com slash- So meet up for a second. I already have like a wireless earphone, so what the hell do I need this for? My ex and I used to be swingers until the last year of our marriage. Things had spiraled out of control, so I said that I was done swapping partners. But unfortunately, she didn't agree with me and kept hooking up with guys behind my back. Thirteen, to be exact. Six months prior to our divorce, my oldest child was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. She started to crack under the pressure and started to drink a lot, putting herself and our children in danger. It got so bad that I moved out of the house for a couple of weeks and took our kids with me. During this time, her best friend, Amy, messaged me because my ex had disclosed all of her dirty deeds to her at girls' night a couple of days ago. She disclosed that she had been sleeping with a new guy every night and getting drunk when she had the kids. One time, she even left our three and four year old kids at home alone while they slept just so she could meet a guy. Amy sure. said that my ex planned on filing for divorce once she drained some additional money from me while living rent-free from oh, fuck, my home. Fuck you, bitch. Amy and I were both disgusted and knew that things had to come to an end. Step one, I moved back into the house and plopped down on the bed right next to her. She lost her mind, saying that she wanted me out of the house now fuck and you. would call the police if I didn't comply. But what she didn't know was that I was recording the audio of our conversation. She called the cops reporting me for domestic violence. Well, the police showed up in no time and had me in cuffs so fast and made my head spin. The detective came to talk to me and I let him listen to the recording. Before long, she was the one in handcuffs in the back of the squad car and she got to spend the night in jail. <laughs> She went Not to yet. stay with Amy for the next week as she wasn't allowed back at her house. Good During this me. week, she went on a spending spree, buying herself a new laptop, new iPhone, and a new wardrobe. She drained our bank account and started to dip into my savings. The next day, I went and withdrew all of our money from our savings and deposited them in my new bank account. I closed all of our joint credit cards and transferred all of my investment accounts into an account solely in my name. She lost it when she found <laughs> out that she had no money to burn through anymore. <laughs> she told Amy that she was contemplating on ending her own life because things had gotten so bad. Oh, don't do Although that. I hated my ex, I didn't want to see her harm herself at all. Amy convinced her that she needed some help and went with her to check into an inpatient mental hospital. This worked out fantastic because she was getting some help, but it also showed that she was a danger to herself and the kids. It was time to put the last part of our plan into action. I consulted my attorney to start the divorce proceedings and completed the needed paperwork. Immediately understanding my situation, he filed my divorce decree and in two weeks the initial hearing had come. She showed up with her attorney and got on the stand and started to lie her heart out. She was telling the judge how abusive I was, and that is what pushed her into the mental hospital. She made a very compelling case and put on a Grammy Award winning act. But then, it was my turn. My attorney presented all of the evidence, videos, and bank records. The defining moment was when my attorney called Amy to the stand to testify. She told an appalling story about a neglectful mom who was completely out of control. A story about a mother who had substance abuse issues that were only getting worse. 
My ex couldn't close her mouth the whole time that Amy was on the stand. She made her attorney look like an idiot as all of her lies were now being exposed and were contrary to what she told him. When the dust settled, I was awarded sole custody and she was awarded supervised visitation until she went to rehab and got additional treatment. We quickly settled out of court agreeing to a graduated visitation schedule once she complied with rehab and mental health counseling. I got the house after paying her a portion of the equity. I got to keep all of my investment accounts and I get to see my kids 80% of the time. Life is pretty good five years down the road and it's even better knowing that she isn't my problem anymore. Once again, thanks to Raycom for sponsoring this video. All right. Well, what a bitch. I, mean, I will agree, like, just because like, she dolled out, like, I, I would want her to die. Like, I'm not that type of person. I don't just say, yeah, if you're horrible, die, you know? Like, I will say she is, is, is a rotten little bitch, but, you know, like, I don't, I hate her, you know? But, like, especially for lying in court, like, I mean, like, what else are you going to do if you're guilty? You're not going to admit, oh, yeah, I did all this stuff, and I want to go to jail, like, of course you're gonna try to try to lie but i mean at least if you're honest about it then like the judge may give you a lesser sentence i would think but if you just should have lied then you're gonna get a longer sentence for trying to lie you know so i mean it's, like lying is never gonna work out for you like don't lie i hate lying i can't stand liars and i try to do my best to be as honest as honest i can and yeah so that's all i really gotta say about that but I will say I'm glad that he got, you know, custody of the kids or main custody and I'm glad that everything was sorted out. And I'm glad that bitch is out of his life now and that he doesn't have to worry about her anymore. But yeah, like, what a bitch. Like, lying in court, freaking uh, leaving the kids, freaking be, uh, being drunk while with the kids. Like, obviously she needs help, you know. Obviously she needs help, so ho hopefully she got it or she gets it. And that's going to be it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video. Subscribe, be sure to turn on post other games as well, and as always, be sure to comment any suggestions you may have down below, and I'll get to them hopefully within a week or so. Okay guys, thanks for watching, peace out.